The question is, can Democrats ride Jeff Van Drew's name to a victory? Senator Bob Andrzak, who was tapped to replace Jeff Van Drew when he went to Congress, and his running mates, Assembly members Bruce Land and Matt Milam, have been running as the Van Drew team. It's on their campaign signs. It's in their campaign literature, despite the fact that Van Drew is not even in the district. But his name and his conservative legacy do really well here, so much so, in fact, that the GOP state party chairman has called this a Trump district occupied by Democrats. And that's why Republican challengers, Mike Testa, Lower Township uh, Mayor uh, Eric Simonson, and the Ocean City Councilman Antoine McClellan are making a hard play to flip these seats. There's been a ton of money poured into this race. In fact, the most recent ELEC reports show this is the most expensive race in the state this year. And President Trump, late in the game, recorded a robocall for Republican challenger Mike Testa, who is the state chairman for his reelection campaign, to give him a boost. I caught up with both of the Senate candidates earlier today, and I asked them about that. Obviously, I haven't been a shy Republican. I've been a, a very staunch Republican, and I've run an unabashed conservative Republican race. Yeah. Does that help you when we know in these low turnout races, it's our partisans who come out to vote? I think it absolutely does help, and I think a lot of the impeachment um, aspects have been happening in Washington also helps us. I feel as good as you can on Election Day. Uh, we are doing everything we can. We've done everything we can up to this point. There's still just a little more we can do. Uh, we're doing texting, we're doing phone calls, we're doing everything we can. Now, this is a rare district in New Jersey because the registered Republican voters outnumber that of Democrats. The Republicans have tried very hard to tie the Democratic slate to Governor Murphy, who is wildly unpopular here. He can't escape. He, he votes with Governor Murphy 95 percent of the time. That is something that he can't escape. And it just goes to show you that when he uh, just last week, he said that he wouldn't rule out voting for President Trump, that he's desperate. I mean, he's he's a Democrat, but he's 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 desperate. I think a lot of people at this point know who we are and know what we're about. Um, they know that we're not tied to anybody politically, that we represent the people and uh, our opponents are grasping at straws and uh, they're trying to have something stick and unfortunately I don't think it has really worked for him this campaign. So as you can imagine, Mary Alice, Governor Murphy in his barnstorming, not asked to come and stump down for the LD1 Senate candidates. Remember, though, this is a district that President Trump carried by nine points in 2016. So a lot of folks are waiting to see how that plays out. I can tell you sources from both campaigns tell me they're not putting a whole lot of weight in a Stockton poll that gave Democrats a strong edge. Uh, they tell me this is going to be a very tight race to the end. We will be here to watch it all for you. We're live in Rio Grande in Cape May County outside the Democratic campaign headquarters.